Hello, I'm Ellie for edu for java and in this tutorial we're going to talk about interfaces. Interfaces in Java is an abstract type that is used to specify an interface that classes must implement. Interfaces are declared use the interface keyword and may only contain method signature and constant declarations. An interface may never contain method definition. Let's take a look at this concept with an example. We go to Eclipse, we create a new class main, for which we are going to run the program. We call it main and we create a main method. Here we are. We copy the code from inside the page to Medu for Java. Here we are. I have defined an array list of bingo cards. This array list is similar to an array, but it has the advantage that we don't have to define the size at the beginning. We can do a new of an object array list and add the objects we want, ignoring the size of the array list. With these symbols here, we can define the types of the objects which are inside the array list. From Java 1.5 onwards, we can do this. We can categorize the list. Before 1.5, we couldn't. Here, what I'm doing is a loop of 20 repetitions, 0 to 19. And for each loop, I create a new object of the class bingo card and I add it to the list. And lastly, with this method, CISO, I print them on console. Here I'm going to create a class bingo card and I'm going to copy the code. Here we are. Control S, Control S. We have to import and import this one too. Here we are. Let's run the program. As you can see here, we can see all the bingo cards one by one. Each card has 15 numbers from 0 to 100. Okay, with this we can already play bingo. We can give one card to each of our friends, ruffle numbers and play bingo. Let's take a look at the class bingo card. The first thing it has here in this instruction is an array of ints of 15 positions. When it is created, this constructor is called and we use an object random to ruffle numbers. I use a 4 here to iterate over the 15 positions of the array and in each loop I add a number random next int ruffled between the numbers 0 and 99. Random next int gives me a number in between 0 and 99. So I ruffle numbers, I insert them in bingo, so they are kept in an instance variable of bingo card. And each time the method CISO is called I call to string, to string iterates over all the bingos and in this instruction they are concatenated with this symbol that you remember and it prints them in this way. Until here everything is okay, but imagine that the class main is mine and that I had a friend to develop bingo card. Along comes another friend 
and he tells me that the class bingo card doesn't work because here in the cards, in the number of the cards we have, there could be an, a mal number which is repeated and we cannot have a repeated number in a bingo card. So he says that he is going to create a new class which is going to work better. We can create bingo card 1 We can copy the code from here. Here we are. We import this one too. Control S. Bingo card is going to be very similar to bingo card, but in the constructor here, it is going to have a uh, filter, an if. This if, what it does is after um, the ruffle of numbers, it asks if the um, number already exists, if it's repeated. This is done with this method here, which returns a boolean, two or false in this case, case false, and in this case two. It receives as a parameter the number and it goes from 0 to i asking if what we have in bingo is the same to what we have in i. If it finds one the same, it returns 2. What this is saying here is that if, it's, if this is repeated, it does e minus minus and it recalculates it. It goes around again and it recalculates it. This is a great improvement. We are not going to have to we are not going to have repeated numbers anymore. What I have to do now is change my main class to use this bingo card one. Let's come here and we're going to change bingo card to bingo card one. It gives me an error because we keep it in a variable which is of a bingo card object. I change it to bingo card 1 here too. Now I have an error in add because bingo list is an array list of the type bingo card. So I have to change it to bingo card 1. Now we have an error in new array list bingo card, I change it to. Now, lastly, I have an error in the method CISO. It says it doesn't exist. We have to create a new one. In the class bingo card 1, we don't have a method CISO. My friend thought that it wasn't a good name, so we call it to console. We change the name here to console. Okay, we're going to run the program and we can see that we have again 20 bingo cards with 15 numbers each. And we are not going to have repeated numbers. Now another friend tells me that he can do another improvement. We can take out the comma, the final comma here that is not very nice. He creates a new bingo card too. We come here and we copy Here we are, we import, as always. He has a method print to console, which has an if, which makes the same, but without the comma. Okay, so we have to go to the main class and change everything again. We come here to... to... Two, 
and 2. And here we have to call it twin to console. Let's run the program. And we can see now that everything is okay, but we don't have the last comma here. As you've noticed, it is very problematic to change a class for a new version. And in this case, it is not really very complicated because only main is using the class bingo card. When somebody modifies the class bingo card, there are thousands of modifications in different classes which have to be found. The solution for this is to define an interface. Let's make the class bingo card implement. In here in refactor, we go to extract interface. We're going to call it i bingo card. And we're going to declare CISO as a member to get in the interface. Okay. Here we can see our interface. Here it has a, the method, which is the method we use to print. Now with the interface created, we can see that bingo card implements the interface i bingo card. And we can do the same with all the rest of the class bingo card 1, bingo card 2. If we come here, we can see an error because we are always obliged to implement the methods of the interface. So we're going to implement CISO, which is the method we've just seen that uh, has the interface. And we're going to put this code here inside, which is going to make the method CISO do this in this way. And we're going to delete this. Control S. The same with bingo card 2, are the unimplemented methods. And in this case, it will be this code here. It does the same, but it's called CISO. Control S. And now we come to the main class. We change the method for CISO. Here we're going to write the interface. Here also the array list is going to be of the class i bingo card, of the interface i bingo card, and the same here. What does this mean? It means that instead of working directly with bingo card or bingo card 2, we only create a new bingo card too. The rest of the reference are done through the interface. We save and we're going to run the program and we can see everything is okay. And because we've used bingo card too, there's no comma in the last of the last number. As you can see this has a really great advantage because we only have to change something here in the new, not in every place um, we have a class bingo card. This is very good when we have a lot of classes which use bingo card. We only have to change it when we do new and use, and we don't have to search the program for list or dependencies one by one. To make this a bit more clear, let's, let's do a new UML. And we drag the classes.
here we are. We can see that the three classes, one, two, three, implement the interface bingo card. This is like inheritance, but with the difference that the only thing that they inherit is the need to have the scissor method. The need to do what this interface says to do. This separates the what to do from the how to do it. In each method, method scissor, we do it in a different way, as we see. This is the method scissor. Here we can see that in bingo card 1 we print it in one way. Here we print it in another way and so on. The great thing about working with an interface is that the main class using the interfaces doesn't care how the method do it. It just cares about what they do. They print to console. This is the main advantage of an interface. Okay, this is all for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye.